problems. They're always a pleasant surprise. Although I don't know how surprising they are. It's funny, herons, now that they no longer fear humans so much, are becoming as common as robins, only bigger. So anyway, they built another cool little bridge recently. It must have been a project to ratify the creation of this Shashin River Greenway thing. And oh, what a charming little bridge it is. You can see the height of the rail issues are addressed so that the view, such as whatever it was, isn't spoiled, mustn't mess with the viewscape. And it's very sturdy. And it looks like they just finished it not too long ago. It's another uh, thing to bridge these various vernal streams that will run wet for spring and they're kind of part of the area's natural runoff thing. But uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Yep, it's a beauty, all right. They did a killer job. <laughs> Each new one is an improvement over the other. And they do it all for free. I was trying to explain to the disgruntled that Mother Towns would die to have this level of quality and civic engagement for the town's open spaces, conserve public lands and whatnot. This is such a terrible violation of nature. <laughs> But yeah, they did a cool job. <laughs> this place is great. So we have an outstanding spot for non-interfering, minimal fuss train watching with lots of variety if you take the time to figure it all out. Here's some forlorn skunk cabbage. Actually, no, that would be a uh, burdock, kind of late season. Probably doesn't get enough sun to generate burrs. So the trail follows along towards Andover Center, which is my game plan. This has been a great day to just putz around and quietly linger. Usually when I'm making trail stuff I'm in a rush. So here you are back at the nice little junction. This will take you closer along the edge of the Shashin and its vast floodplain you see down there exemplified by the overload of purple loose strife that's looking just stucky but really shouldn't be there. What are you gonna do? Uh, so that's a great trail and I, ha I have evidence which will surely be entered into the record and that takes you close to a chance to watch trains if you should be so inclined. Now, we get a sense of what it does in its way to Andover. This way leads back to the Ballard Vale Station parking lot in close proximity to the childhood home of Jay Leno and many other wonders. 
that there would be your basic Shoshin River floodplain behind some grand old wreck of a pine tree stub of something must have been huge. And this way is our beloved way to Andover. Looks fairly painless. I haven't seen whether there's a blazing system for any of this yet. I don't imagine there is, but that's okay. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> there was considerable excitement evident in the kiosk announcements. This all came together in April. So that's fairly impressive. And as with all of the things that the Andover Trails committee community loves to do. Uh, there'll no doubt be more as they identify impact spots and helpful ways to make it all more charming than it hopelessly is in the first place. Ah, now we're moving out of the white pine lands and entering some lowland oak, different corner of floodplain. Let's see, this will take the lowland. That looks sort of like a little excursion side trail. This is probably the main one. We're coming to one of the stone walls indicated on the map, so we actually have a working benchmark point in the grand art of figuring out where the heck we are. So let us pause there momentarily and see what it has to tell us. Oh yeah, there's some kind of utility stuff, looks like. Okay. My stone wall. Oh, there's an old railroad high relic of some kind, sort of driven into the ground like a giant spike, and accompanied by protestations from a chipmunk. And look at the size of this ancient coppiced oak mess. Which exact stone wall would this particular one be? Looks like we're coming to an open field. Transition of all that aldery birch stuff that colonizes a recently cleared bunch of woods. Entering the sun. Golden rod waving ever briskly. <laughs> yeah, that's power line land. Soon offset by the appearance of yet another majestic oak to this thing. And whither to next we wonder. That tip to the oak now fondly committed to pixels. Woohoo, could this be more of a fiendish boardwalk creation that is causing such a horrific fuss? Why yes, I have a feeling it is. Oh no, I think I shall swoon. That looks like another nice job. 
old apple orchard. And intertwined with grape. And big enough to run a Jeep on, probably an arrangement made to be helpful to the utility that has this right-of-way.